homelessness is an issue in almost every city and every state. On Thursday night, four members of the Grand County Homeless Task Force came together to raise money and community awareness for the homeless by spending a night on the street. El Sendero Pastor Mike Alvarado, Moses Lake School District Official Dave Balcom, Moses Lake Police Chief Dave Ruffin, and Serve Moses Lake Director Tim Cloyd shacked up in cardboard boxes and sleeping bags in the parking lot at Penhalorix True Value Hardware to get a taste of what the homeless go through every night. Cloyd talked about how the task force came up with the idea. Well, the Grant County Homeless Task Force was put together to, to deal or to try to help the situation with homelessness in our community and throughout the county. And uh, we, we felt like, okay, we could work towards some, some physical remedies, but it's really education for the community that's needed to help people become aware. There's a lot of myths and fears and un misunderstandings. And so we felt like this would be a step for us to bring awareness, to bring, to kind of heighten the awareness in the community. And it certainly has done that. And with the, the addition of the warming center starting this year, we thought this is a good timing for us to, to bring that to light, uh, to receive donations from the community, to get people connected to it in a, in a practical way. While the guys hunkered down for a long night, Cloyd said what they experienced is only a fraction of what homeless people can go through every day. First of all, in doing this, we're not saying that we know what it's like to be homeless. You know, we've, we've dressed really warmly. We've got some comforts that way. So it's, it's really not us, about us saying, hey, I know what it's like to be homeless and I can understand what you've been through. It's more about, okay, we need to take a step and help the community understand that uh, it, it, it takes a whole community to help people that are in this place. And if we can take one small step to bring more awareness to that, well, we believe that everyone deserves that human dignity, no matter what situation they might find themselves in. If they are struggling with substance abuses or alcohol, they still need to be loved and cared for, and they need those basic elements. And, and we would rather have a person come to the warming center where we can develop a relationship with, hopefully, and when they're ready to make those kinds of changes and decisions, then, and then hopefully we can help point them in the right direction. You know, it's true, we were actually pretty grateful last winter that it wasn't as harsh as previous winters have been. And so that we felt like, oh good, that gives us even more time to accomplish this. But we thought like, man, we've got to make that first step. That warming center became available. We really went after it. And so that's been a good, healthy step for us. You know, it's been averaging probably 11 or 12 people every night there and so we thought okay we're we're going in the right direction let's keep this going along with the sleep on the street campaign the task force is doing the annual point in time homeless count next thursday and the warming center is open through the end of february in moses lake devin higgins for i fiber one news